going to show you that Trinitarians actually make God a liar in 1 John chapter 2, verse 22 to 23. Read it for you. Who is a liar but he that denieth that Jesus is the Christ? He is Antichrist that denieth the Father and the Son. Whosoever denieth the Son, the same hath not the Father. But he that acknowledgeth the Son hath the Father also. Not true if they're two separate persons, because if they're two separate persons that are both fully God, but then they're not two gods, they're only, they make up one God somehow, uh, you could have one but not the other. Because if they're both fully God, you basically have two gods, so you could have one but not the other. But you see, if you don't have the Son, you don't have the Father, because the, the Son and the Father and the Holy Ghost are one being. They're not three persons that are co-eternal and co-equal and all this other unbiblical stuff that Trinitarians have to actually add to the Bible to explain it. They're one being. You know, uh, a good example of this would be Matthew chapter 28, verse 19, baptizing them in the name, singular, of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. It's one name, singular. Or, for example, Genesis chapter 1, verse 26, you know, let us make man in our image, singular. Not images, image, singular. You know, they're one being. But Trinitarians, they make God a liar. They say he's two beings. You know, two beings that make up one God somehow. Ridiculous. So, Want to bring that out. Trinitarians do make God a liar in so many different passages, and this is one of them. So, God bless you. Goodbye.